That's what you all want to see. That's what I want to see. Listen, we know dogs are amazing. All dogs are amazing. But service dogs, they're in the league of their own. They're heroes. They are loving. They're adorable. But most importantly, they are essential in helping veterans and people with disabilities. Unfortunately, right now, there's a shortage in people willing to raise them. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. <laughs> that means it's taking longer for those in need to get matched with the service dog for them. To learn more about volunteering and what it takes to learn or to raise a service dog, we bring in our next guest, Angie McCarran. Uh, by the way, she is president of Pen of the PenFed Foundation, a nonprofit that supports veterans. She also raises service dogs herself. Pilot here, her friend, is number six. I don't know how you do it. How do you train them and raise them and then say goodbye? That is the question I get every single day. And, you know, I didn't serve in the military. I haven't been in combat. So what I can do <laughs> is raise and train a puppy for someone who has. It is so incredibly rewarding. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's. I always make the analogy that raising a puppy like Pilot is like donating an organ. Oh if God. you have the opportunity to save someone's life, why wouldn't you want to try? Well, you put it that way, uh, Andrea, <laughs> okay? Now I feel bad about wanting to. I mean, look at this face. Pilot, Pilot is how old? He's 12 weeks old. I've had him since eight weeks. Oh, my God. And so here's the greatest thing about puppy raising. <laughs> you can do it with a coworker. You can do it with your family. You can do it with a friend. <laughs> and... Um, so co-raising is a really great option. I, I feel like and I And here's the best yeah. thing of all, you don't need any professional dog training experience. Oh. And even better yet, if we can find 10 new puppy raisers in Manhattan, we have a place where we can have puppy classes starting right away. So okay. that is your call to all action. Right, folks. And you know what, what to you're do. looking <laughs> at is some of the incredible life-changing skills well, that know. these dogs do. Opening and closing refrigerator the, door. The fridge thing was very I impressive love that. to me. Uh, but but what, can you just speak to us the importance and how they are so essential to uh, veterans and people with disabilities? Yeah, well, Pilot will go to a veteran, a first responder, someone with a disability. Not only are they life-changing, they are literally life-saving. Yep. You know, for someone with PTSD, he'll learn an extraordinary skill called nightmare interruption. He will, if a veteran's thrashing from night terrors, he'll pull down the comforter, turn on the light switch, and then get on top of the veteran in bed until they calm down. So they can clear a room. They can pick things up off the ground, a cell phone, keys that somebody has dropped. Now they're even able to take a credit card off the floor, get on a counter, and then pay for something, Wait and even bring a cell phone and scan the phone and do Apple Pay. He does Apple Pay. He will. Pilot's he sure will. Do Apple pay. But so, you know, I'm afraid Just to leave him alone with my all. credit card I know. at this point. He's going to be ordering lots on Amazon. Here we go. Oh my God, he's so Sit. good. No, so yes. is this a little bit of, can you show us a little bit of the training that you've been doing with him? Well, right now, the primary job of a puppy raiser like me, who's a volunteer, is socialization. Mm -hmm. oh. Look look at how comfortable he is. He is very good. With bright lights, cameras, all these people he's never met. So he goes he on airplanes. He is, that's the best thing. He would do a triple Lutz back handspring for a morsel of kibble. Yeah, that I would Pilot, like to see. sit. Yes. And so... I take him everywhere, into restaurants, to live sporting events, oh, wow. to concerts, yeah. because think about where the recipient will want to go. Wherever anyway, they want, exactly. exactly. Grocery stores. Um, you know, it's hard to get anywhere, even in New York, I with know. people wanting to love on him. I but know. it's so incredibly rewarding. I've done it five times already, and the people who have been the recipients have literally told me the dogs saved their life. So, oh so how can we not do right. it? How can you and not? And we really want to get more volunteer puppy well, raisers. Well, I was just going to say, the people at home watching who are like, okay, I, I see the light now. I see why I can raise a dog and then give it away. How do they get involved? What, what are the qualifications needed? None. None. And a, a willingness to open your heart and your home and your workplace. That's key. What's that? I like what you're saying out the way. She's uh, been trying to get us to get a Pix dog. Yeah, name Pix. <laughs> How could you resist? <laughs> and, and let me just tell you about service dogs in the workplace. Yes. They have been proven to increase productivity, what? which might surprise you. Everybody on the 10th floor, turn yeah. the volume up on your television right now. <laughs> Lower blood pressure okay. and increase employee morale, which is just obvious. But you could name little picks and bring them to the workplace. You could have two colleagues co-raising. You can have a dog at home. 
You can, I have two other dogs at home. Oh my we goodness. We have a cat at home. I just can't even put in words how incredibly rewarding it is. You are changing a life. How often do you get to do that? Mm. Okay, all right, how can people find out more information about the organization and get involved? So we have teamed up with Canine Companions, Amazing. the first and largest service dog organization in the country that has already delivered 8,000 dogs to wow. people who need them. And so we, you can go to penfedfoundation.org and get all the information you need to raise a puppy, but also volunteer, you can volunteer in Volun other ways. He's showing off his down right now. Everything you need now. on the website, penfed.org. Penfed, penfed, okay, penfed.org. Thank you, and Angela. I think